This is James from Shoot to Kill Outdoors. I was wanting to do a review on my uh, newest rifle. It's a Mossberg 817, 17 HMR. It's a, it's a really nice rifle. I mean, I like it. I actually got a squirrel with it this past Monday, Labor Day. Uh, you can see the pictures of it in the squirrel slideshow. I didn't get to bring my camera with me because I couldn't find the uh, battery charger to it. But anyway, I figured I'd show off my rifle. You only got to see a picture of it, and that was like the stock picture of this rifle from Mossberg. Um, I'm going to start off by saying it's really accurate. Uh, the bolt's really smooth on mine. I know a lot of people, or a few videos on YouTube, uh, do a review on it saying that bolts kind of funny well I mean mine works I'm gonna say some likes and dislikes about this rifle um, one thing that I like about it when you you know when you bring the bolt back and cock it it, it lets you know the indicator there's a little indicator right there that lets you know that it's cocked and ready to go um, another thing that I like that it comes with these weaver rail like sections already attached to the rifle for quick mounting because it doesn't have you know iron sights it doesn't have any sights at all on it so you have to put some kind of sight on it yourself now another thing that it's kind of weird usually new rifles you know today's rifles come with swivel studs but this one didn't you know it doesn't come stock with them so you either have to have somebody put them on or do you know put them in yourself which I did it only took me like 10 minutes um, the safety just like a 22 safety pellet gun safety right by the trigger guard uh, this is magazine fed takes five rounds it's pretty nice I wish they made like higher capacity mags, but they don't that I know of yet. Um, I'm going to start off telling you about the scope. Uh, the scope is pretty nice. It's a BSA Optics 6 to 24 by 40. The scope is a mil dot scope. That's really uh, it's really dependable, shockproof, waterproof, all that good stuff. Uh, it's got a parallax setting on it from 15 yards to infinity. Um, this is a 1 8 inch turn or click scope. It is uh, it's really not that expensive. Compared to you know like Nikon, I mean, they're all good scopes, but this one was like forty-five dollars from Sportsman's Guide, which to me was a pretty good deal. That was shipped and everything. The scope rings that I have are Barska low-profile rings. I think I got those for five dollars from Sportsman's Guide. Um, they make the scope set really super low to the barrel, which I like, because the 17 is a really, sh you know, flat shooting round, and it's not like, you know, higher calibers like the 308. Usually, most people have high rings on them. They don't sit real low to the barrel because of the trajectory. Um, but other than that, I mean, this gun, I like it a lot. It was only bore sighted, so I mean it was shooting kind of low for 40 yards. It shot when I shot that squirrel, it hit pretty low. Uh, the rifle itself was like $165 with tax and all, but it had to be shipped to my local gun dealer because I bought it off Bud's Gun Shop. Now, Bud's Gun Shop, you know, is really nice place to buy your firearms but the only downside to that is if the gun dealer that you have them sent to depending on who's your gun who your gun dealer is 
can charge you or ha charges you a transferring fee. Now, the gun dealer that I deal with charges $40 for a transferring fee if they have the gun in stock. Now, if they don't have the firearm or, you know, like an AR lower that requires an FFL, they won't charge you $40. They'll charge you $20, which I was really hoping they didn't have this rifle in stock because I've never seen it there. Well, when I bought the rifle and had it sent there, they charged me 40 because they had them, you know, they had them, but I didn't ever see them. So, but that's all right. I mean, I'm happy with what I got. You know, I've never had a 17 inch more before. I'm glad I got one. And I think the next rifle I'm going to get is a 22 Magnum. Because I want to do a video on comparing 17 inch more versus the 22 Mag, you know. Because the 22 mag is, you know, it's it's like 20%, 25% more powerful, but it's slower. Um, but other than that, I want to talk about the ammunition that I buy. Now, i done a lot of research and watched a lot of videos of Bullock Expansion on... 17 HMRs and almost every other, you know, bullet or cartridge or caliber rifle that I have. And CCI TNTs are really, really good expansion for the size of the bullet. I mean, it's only a 17 grain. And you could see, if you watch the squirrel slideshow, you could see the picture of that squirrel. Now it's like the whole neck area when I because sh I shot I aimed at the face but it shot in the neck and I mean it's like it just blew its neck right off but um, you know if it was a bigger bigger animal um, it would probably do even more damage just because of all the tissue there but 17 caliber it's usually used you know for varmints stuff like that. You know, it's a uh, name a few crows, squirrels, rabbits. If you can get a shot off with a rabbit, but you know, possums, raccoons, uh, foxes. Some people even use them to coyote hunt with, but and other people just use them for a target gun, which ain't bad. I mean, and that's another thing about this scope. It's not the there's BSA makes a few versions of this. This is just the regular varmint slash target scope. I mean, nothing special. Uh, but, you know, if you don't have a 17 HMR, I really recommend, you know, getting one. If you're so used to having 22s and you just want that, you know, more better rifle that's rimfire, which, I mean... I like both center fire and rim fire, but I just wanted to experiment with the 17 and see if I really like it. And I didn't really lose that much money, and I really like it. So, I mean, I probably have about 250 in this gun. And you, this isn't like Mossberg. You know, everybody almost makes a 17 HMR now. You know, Savage, Ruger, um, Winchester, Marlin, all them. I haven't seen a Winchester, but I know the rest of them make one. And, you know, they, they make all kinds of them. You know, different bull barrels. Uh, Remington actually has one that's auto-loading, but I've never seen one of them either. So, but, you know, it's a, it's a great round. I recommend getting one if you don't have one. Um, and that's about it. I mean, it's really light. It's another good thing. But other than that, uh, this is Shoot the Cut Outdoors, and thanks for watching.